The popularity of pick'em sites like Prize Picks and some of the others thriving on a day-to-day -day basis. It's getting more and more popular every single day. But I see constant screenshots of people that I think are making pretty big mistakes with the way that they're playing. In particular, I think these are the five biggest mistakes that you can avoid to increase your profitability on the pick'em sites. Without question, people are way too likely to take overs. And I understand why that's the case. More often than not, you're cheering for fun. You're cheering for points and three pointers made and rebounds. You want to see the action. But the problem here is that you're probably missing out on better lines by skipping those unders. Prize picks and sites like Prize Picks have that information. They know people are going to lean towards overs so they can adjust lines to take advantage of that. If less people are willing to take an under, you might get a bad line. That leaves a little bit of value out there for more unders. And that is a practice that I take advantage of regularly. Another major issue for people putting together cards, particularly on prize picks in this case, there are different implied odds to break even for each level of picks. For example, let's say you only put together a card with two plays on it at prize picks. You need to average 57.7% winners to break even. However, if you're playing a five pick card, you only have to get 53% of your picks correctly. That is a giant gap. 4.7 percentage points differ between those two levels. I don't like playing two pick cards at all. That's a really sizable break even percentage that's going to be tough to meet. It's better to go to three, it's even better to go to four. Five and six, while they might be the hardest to hit because going six of six is going to be infrequent, you have to pick successful plays at a significantly lower rate than if you were just pumping out two pick cards over and over again. Now you will see different break even rates at different pick'em sites, but it's very important to know where the problematic spots lie. And in this case, just simple two pick flex cards on prize picks that is, that's gonna be an issue. This next mistake is massive and it basically takes zero effort for you. If you're ignoring tacos on prize picks or protected plays, free squares, whatever we want to call it, whatever sort of bonus or gimmick that these sites are using on an individual basis, you should take advantage of them as much as you can. Free squares in particular. If you see a free square anywhere on any of these pick'em sites and you're not using it, you're leaving money on the table. Tacos on prize picks where you're getting discounted rates, you're better odds. You're basically like teasing it without losing any of the value. You need to use these things as much as possible. I just talked a little bit about where the break even rates are for two plays, three plays, four, five, six. If you have the opportunity to fit in plays that are close to, if not guaranteed victories, you're dramatically increasing your odds of hitting that card and you're bringing the break even rate even lower, making it easier to profit. You'll see these plays basically every single day, depending on which site you're playing on. If you have money on that site and you're not using those plays, you probably don't like money as much as you think you do because you're leaving it on the table. You're just leaving it in prize picks hands and these other sites hands. You're letting them keep the money for some strange reason. Put it back in your own pocket. This next one's massive and Odd Shopper will absolutely help you to do this, but you can do this manually if you need to, and that's using the markets to find the plays that you like the most. We need to remember, at a general sports book, let's say there's a prop of over under 10 points. Maybe the over is shaded at minus 150, but you go back to prize picks and look at it, there's no juice, there's no shading. It's just at 10 and it's 50-50 on either side. But you know that sports books are taking in more action and have that line set in a different way. Take advantage of those places where you see sizable juice on an over or an under that doesn't exist on some of the pick'em sites. If you're not paying attention to something like that, this is another spot where you can just immediately make your plays more efficient. If you're seeing those sorts of options out there where you can actually bet specific money onto one individual play, but then you go back to prize picks and see no juice either side, why would you not want to take advantage there? The sports book is giving you the information. That's part of the reason we have the odd shopper pick'em package. It's pointing out those sort of discrepancies 
and it's sorting it all for you immediately with win rates and value right in front of your face. The final mistake that I see people making is the easiest one that you're going to ever get your hands on, and it's taking advantage of sign up offers when you're not at a site yet. This is the easiest way to return money. Think of it like a 401k match at your employer. You should put in every single dollar you can if your company is willing to match it because you're going to get better returns on that money than anything else you're doing. If you put in a dollar and they will match with a dollar, that is an incredible return, much better than what you're going to be seeing grinding out any of these plays. So if you've got a sign up bonus where you put in 100 and you get another 100 back, you're immediately doubling your bankroll to start. Instead of having five $20 flex plays on prize picks, you'll now have 10 $20 flex plays on prize picks. You're doubling your opportunities. This combined with everything else should greatly increase your ability to make money on the Pick'em sites. And lucky for you, check the description of this video. We've got signup links for all of them. You're basically doubling your bankroll on each individual site. If you're not there yet, use those links. Even though it does benefit us, obviously, it benefits you more than anybody else. You're doubling your money. That should be a no brainer. Any situation anywhere else in the world where you have an opportunity to double your money for zero risk, you would take advantage of it. If you follow the five things that I think are mistakes, I promise you, you will be better at pick'em sites, at prize picks moving forward. You will have an increased ROI. There is no way around it. You're going to be more informed about which cards you should be playing, where your break even rates are going to be. You're attacking every sort of free square taco bonus that you can get from the sites. You're taking advantage of deposit bonuses. You're checking out the markets. All of these things will greatly improve your ability to make money. And that is the entire goal.